Welcome to the Core Church Friday Fast, where we are fasting every Friday for our nation, our city, our church, and our homes. Today's reading is from Romans chapter 7. I love this chapter of the Bible. Paul just gets raw and real. He's talking about sin, and he's talking about this tension of like, man, the thing I don't want to do, I just keep doing it. And the thing I want to do, I can't seem to do it. And our verse of the day is Romans 7, 17, where he says this, So I am not the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. Now, at first glance, it looks like Paul's kind of shifting blame here. Like he's not taking ownership or like, hey, it's not me. It's not my fault, um, which we've all seen people do that. But Paul's not saying that at all. In fact, Paul says, you know what? We need to take responsibility for those things that we've done, and we need to confess those things. But what Paul is saying here is we have to be careful that we don't self-identify with it. In other words, like you might lose at something, but that doesn't make you a loser. You might fail, but that doesn't make you a failure. Those are events They are not a person. And the same thing is true when it comes to sin. You might sin, but you don't have to self-identify with it. So often we'll say things like, man, I'm a a liar, or uh, I'm an addict, or I'm lustful. And there's a hint of truth in that, and I understand why we say that, but really truthfully, we got to be careful that we don't self-identify with that. you, You might lie, you might lust, and you might have an addiction issue, but that is not who you are. You are a child of God and you are loved by him. In fact, at the end of chapter seven, Paul ends it by saying this, who's going to free me from this life that's dominated by sin? He says, thank God the answer is Jesus Christ, our Lord. You do not have to self-identify with sin. Self-identify as a child of God. You are loved by him.